Hi. Nowadays, smart teapots, intelligent homes, and other high-end devices are making our life easier and better. But what if I tell you that there's another side? The Internet of Things can change the world, but it can also steal your job. How? Let's find out. If you hear the word Internet and think of information, you're right. If, of course, you're in 2003. But things online have changed a lot in the last few years. Most people don't understand how the current Internet came to be. It's been unveiled, over time, in several distinct stages. Each stage has a name. Web 1.0, 2.0, and 3.0. Web 1.0 was the original World Wide Web, a read-only internet with static pages written in HTML. And all the content was created by only a few chosen ones. But with the advent of the millennium, Web 2.0 was born. It allowed interactive communication, including social networking. Then, by around 2008, Web 2.0 evolved into Web 3.0, known as the semantic web. And that's the stage we're in today. Up until now, the web has solely been about information. Web 3.0 added hardware and software standards like XML, HTML5, and metadata. And that allowed web pages to be understood directly by computer search engines like Google and Yahoo. It became possible for machines to search, aggregate, and combine virtually all information without any help from human operators. But ultimately, it's still all about information. The amount of available information has greatly increased over the years, but it's still the same type of stuff. Websites, blogs, documents, images, and video. But that is all about to change. Web 4.0 is on the way, and it represents a set of changes which are going to usher in a completely new era. It'll be the single most important leap in technology in this century. Web 4.0 is also known as the Internet of Things. The plan is to tightly integrate physical devices into networks that can act autonomously without human input. I'm talking about mobile phones, cars, trucks, door locks, thermostats, lights, refrigerators, washing machines, dishwashers, virtually everything. These smart devices will directly communicate and exchange data with one another. It's already started and it's growing at an exponential rate. Experts estimate that 30 billion devices will be directly connected to each other by just 2020. And that's just the beginning. If you're thinking about a smart house that can communicate with, anticipate, and intend to the needs of its owners, you're thinking right. But that's just a small part of it. The Internet of Things is going to be much bigger than that. It's a revolutionary change in the fundamental way that goods and services are going to be delivered. I'm talking about interconnected factory robots, 3D printing machines, self-driving delivery trucks, and even the final manufactured products being intelligently linked together. Advanced artificial intelligence will analyze how, where, and when the products are needed, and shipping will be entirely automated, requiring little to no human intervention. The resulting economic benefits are obvious. Think about just-in-time custom manufacturing for almost everything. Little to no need to keep inventory on hand. A massive increase in efficiency and a steep drop in the cost of both manufacturing and distribution. In the end, smart power grids, virtual power plants, smart homes, intelligent transportation networks, hordes of self-driving cars and trucks, and other self-regulatory systems are going to be everywhere. It's so big that forecasters are predicting that Web 4.0 will usher in an entirely new industrial revolution. And that already has a name. It's called Industry 4.0, and it's going to be powered by the Web. The connection of all these machines will increase company profits even as consumers enjoy faster, easier access to more and better products. The interconnected devices will control each other. They'll interact through cloud computing and artificial intelligence. And as a result of all this, forecasters predict a massive increase 
of $12 trillion worth of world GDP by 2030. So what's the downside? Well, life is never all perfume and roses, is it? No change this big is going to come without consequences. For one thing, when everything's connected to everything else, a lot of serious privacy and security issues are going to arise. Also, the reliability of hardware and software will be far more important than it is today. That's because small errors, like the type that now plague most hardware and software products, could result in a massive problem. If even just one interconnected device misbehaves, it could bring down the entire system and supply chain. All these technical challenges can be dealt with, but the single biggest downside is going to be the impact on current jobs. According to Wired magazine, but this isn't the first time that a naysayer has predicted doom. In fact, a group of English textile workers and weavers called the Luddites were actively smashing loom machinery two centuries ago in protest over job losses. Similarly, innovations like the steam locomotive and the internal combustion engine led some people to believe that the world was coming to an end, as blacksmiths, saddle and bridle makers, feed operators, and a host of other people found themselves unemployed. Cars, trucks, propeller-driven aircraft, and steam locomotives did damage the horse-related industries. However, they also opened up a whole new world. Places like the rural American West, previously inaccessible, were suddenly able to deliver goods to consumers in faraway cities. That created more new jobs than the innovations took away. For example, farmers of corn, wheat, and dairy products, as well as ranchers, could sell goods to faraway markets and buy complex manufacturing products in return. The new technology spawned a need for railroad, automobile, and propeller aircraft assembly workers, gas station attendants, mechanics, and more. It opened up suburban construction, creating a huge number of construction jobs as people chose to live in single-family homes. In the end, city dwellers and rural residents alike ended up with a richer life and a more and varied diet. Just as with previous innovations, Web 4.0 and Industry 4.0 will free up human time, energy, and effort to accomplish things we cannot even imagine today. Consider, for example, that interconnected 3D printing machines will allow objects to be created as easily as we now create documents. There's likely to be an explosion of creative object writing. That will require skills and inspiration that no machine, no matter how interconnected and artificially intelligent, can ever provide. So yes, Web 4.0 will automate mundane tasks like driving, and it may make some people's current jobs redundant. But it will also free people up to apply themselves to making new dreams come true. There's going to be new jobs for programmers, designers, engineers, objects craftsmen, maybe even space mechanics and meteor miners. That's Web 4.0 and Industry 4.0 in a nutshell. That's where we're headed, and there's no amount of Luddite narrow-mindedness that's going to stop it. The new Internet of Things is about to revolutionize our lives, and we'll all need to adapt. Will it free humanity from boring routine? Or will it turn human beings into a bunch of jobless losers, ushering in a type of machine age depicted in Hollywood movies like The Terminator? We'll find out. And what do you think? Share your thoughts about Web 4.0 in the comments section. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button. There are more great videos about technology and IT on the way, so make sure you don't miss them. Subscribe to our channel. See you soon.